Hello, today I'm here with a long ass video, I think. So, yeah, this is going to take a while. I'm doing a collective haul, and it has been a long time since I did a haul video. And this is things that I have bought in August, September, and maybe some in the beginning of October. I'm not sure. Uh, I think maybe two things I bought in the beginning of October. So this is a lot of things, just so you know, but it's not... It's two months. I shop a lot, I know that. some In some periods I shop a lot. I'm not going to defend myself because you know what you're in for. So I have clothes, I have skincare and I have makeup. And I will start with the clothes and then I take the skincare and the makeup last. And I will put times here. Um, if you don't want to see maybe the clothes, you don't want to see the skincare, you don't want to see the makeup. But who doesn't want to see makeup? So <laughs> I will leave timestamps so you can choose what you want to see. And I think I'm going to do these collective hauls. Maybe... I, I, I collect. I save the things for like two months and then I do a haul. It depends on how much I shop and if you want me to do haul videos. So we will start with clothes and I will insert little pictures when I'm wearing the shirts. But I'm going to show them to you and then you're going to see them on. We can start with the, the shirt I'm wearing right now. This is from uh, Monkey. It's a black shirt with two hearts on the boobs. So it's one heart and one with a little knife in it. A shimmery knife. And it's a t-shirt. A normal t-shirt. I like a t-shirt with prints. And yeah. It feels good. It's not short. And it's not super long. It's a perfect length. length. And the sh sh arms are... Like this. I hate shirts when the arms are like this because I want them to be a little bit longer. And also from Monkey I bought another t-shirt and this is also a black t-shirt. I almost only use black clothes if you haven't noticed it already. Black is my color. I use black clothes like 99% of all the time. So this is uh, also from Monkey and this is a crop top with a little cat on it and it says bite back. I think this is their Halloween shirts and I really really love this. I love cats, I love Halloween and yeah I think it's really nice. And this is has pretty long sleeves, longer than a normal t-shirt but I really like them and this is a bit cropped. So I'm going to match this with maybe a high waist pant or a skirt. And then I have bought three t-shirts from Naked. N-A-K-D. I, I don't know. I think it is a Swedish shop. But I think they shop worldwide. And they have a lot of designer clothes and stuff like that. But that's not my guess. I think all these are from their own brand. So we can start. There or black these also. And first up we have a white t-shirt when it says Dalen. And it's just a normal t-shirt. This is super short sleeves. So this is not my favorite sleeve. But it's a nice t-shirt. It's a little bit longer. And I want something more than just a black t-shirt. Even though I have black t-shirts as well. But I want something more than just a plain black. And then we have one more cropped top. And... Um, this has a text on it and it says exhale the bullshit and this is cropped and the same as the bite back I'm going to use this with high waist pants or a high waist skirt and last we have I think this is my favorite this is the longest shirt and it's it's like the most comfiest shirt I have ever had and it's got two lemons on them on the boobs my boyfriend asked me if this was my new thing with boob prints and I just like, maybe it is. And this is like the best shirt I have ever had. 
it suits me so good and it's so comfortable and I really like it. And I can leave everything down below if you want to buy anything for your own. Um, so yeah, this was all the clothes and now we can go on into the skincare. Um, we can start with three sprays. I have talked about two of them already and that are two from the body shop. It's their Mint Mattifying Face Mist and the Rose Dewy Glow. I talked about them in my tea time so now you know how long I have had these. And I like these. Um, they are pretty smelly but they are good so I really like this and I like these small containers. So you can take them on when you're going somewhere or put them in your bag so I really like this. And then I <laughs> bought my favorite mist of all times and it's from Lumiene in it's their hydration mist glow refresh in their vitamin C series and I think I have something in my eye and this was one of the first mist I have ever bought and this is fucking amazing so that was the mists and now I can take the face masks and I have bought three face masks um, this one from the body shop, this one I tried in my tea time and it's their Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats. I really like this mask, it's a very nice mask, it's easy on your skin, it's got a little bit of peeling, it smells fantastic and it's really good. I usually use this once a week, once or two a week. And it's an amazing mask, I can really recommend this if you want a little bit of scrub but you want a hydration mask as well so this is really really good another mask that is one of my favorite masks of all time I have used up one tube and uh, I felt I can't not have this so I bought a new one and this is from MIS it's a Swedish brand and this is the treatment enzyme peel it's got H A H A and B H A acids I love this mask. It doesn't tingle on me, but it's an amazing mask. I really love this. And when this runs out, I'm going to buy my fur bottle. It's just my fur tube. Because this is one of the best masks I have ever tried. And the last face mask I bought is from Pixie. I want to try more things from Pixie. And this is a peel and polish mask. And yeah, this is also with enzyme peeling and one of my favorite beauty blogs I read Jenny Elizabeth she's a Swedish blogger uh, she liked this and she usually know what's good so <laughs> I bought this one I haven't tried it yet but I'm really looking forward to do it and I think it's fun to test more from Pixie and another thing I bought from Pixie is their glow peel pads I haven't started using these yet but this is pads with acid on. As you may have noticed now, I like acid. <laughs> and these are pads with uh, acid on them and you use them I think at night. And you leave them on for a couple of minutes and then you have to neutralize your face with water. And I think I'm going to test these tonight. And I heard that these are really, really good, so I hope for the best. Then I have bought two moisturizing things for my face. I bought one serum. This is moisturizing serum from MIS as well. And this is a serum with hyaluronic acid. And I really, really like this one. It's a quick serum, so <laughs> when you rub it on your face, it sunks in in like a couple of seconds. And in the morning, that's all I got time for, a couple of seconds for my skincare. So I really, really like this one. I don't I don't know if I like serums when they are in tubes or not. But it's a really good serum, so I think I'm going to buy this again when this tur turns out, runs out. Because it's a really good serum. And I think this is vegan. <laughs> and then I have bought one of the cheapest skincare... I think I have ever bought and this was I read about this 
on another beauty blog that I crossed. And it's from CN, so it's from Lidl, and this is the 24 Moisturizing Cream. And she said that it was one of the best eye cream, <laughs> eye creams, face creams she have ever tried. And I trust her, and she has sensitive skin, so if she doesn't break out of it, I would not do it as well. And her name is Killer Colors, or Viola. I can leave her <laughs> blog down below and she really liked this and this was so freaking cheap. I haven't started to use this yet, I'm waiting for my products to run out first. So I'm really intrigued to try this <laughs> and see if she was right or not. And if she was, that's super good so I can find a cheap, cheap face cream. And then the last for skincare, I have two things for my eyes. Uh, the first one is under eye patches and this is from Kix and this is firming and plumping eye patches. I have used this a couple of times and I don't really like this because it's like, yeah you know eye patches, they are like super thin slippery things. It, seems like a little snail or something and they were just like going down I put them on and they were just Wee! I usually leave them on for 15 minutes and I was like oh I can put them on and brush my teeth and yeah go to the toilet and stuff like that but I almost couldn't stand up because they was like Wee! so it ended up on my cheek and I was so freaking irritated so I think I've used them once, I need to use them again, but they couldn't stay up and I was so annoyed. So I was like this for 15 minutes. <sighs> and the other thing for my eyes, it's this one, it's a little eye cream from Ole Henriksen, it's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I usually don't care what I use for eye cream because I don't know if it makes any different. But this one, I really like. Um, it lights up your eyes a little bit and uh, I look very tired in the morning. It's one thing I can tell you because I can't sleep right now and I, yeah, I'm so tired when I go up and go to work. So this brightens up a little bit and it feels really nice to have on your eyes. So I really like this one but this was an expensive little motherfucker but I like it it's good I don't know if I will buy it again but I can recommend it if you want a good eye cream you can buy this if you think it's worth it I don't know if I think it's worth it or not but it's a really good eye cream but it's freaking expensive and then the last thing I didn't know if I was going to take this as a skincare or a makeup so I take this in my in-between product and this, that is my velour lip scrub from Jeffree Star and this is in rainbow sherbet, sherbet. and uh, I talked about this in my favorite videos my favorite is for September so yeah I love this one it tastes so good uh, you shouldn't eat it like eat it like candy and I don't uh, I take maybe a little too much when I scrub my lips at night but I really like this it's vegan it tastes good and it scrubs but it also moisturizes so that is good and it's look like this so this is going to last me pretty long I think because you don't need it much but I take a little too much but I really like this one and you can if you don't want to buy a free star don't um I don't know if I want to support him or not. I buy some of his products. Um, yeah, I haven't made up my mind yet. So, if you are okay with buying your free store products, buy this one because it's freaking good. Both the taste and the product. Okay, and now we can go into the mic my makeup and we can start with the brushes. I have bought three eyeshadow brush, two face brush, and one eyebrow brush. 
So you can start with the eyebrow brush. I haven't used this yet, but this is from Kicks. It's their own... It's just called eyebrows. Because I am so afraid that my eyebrush I use... Eyebrow brush. Oh my god. I use now is going to break soon because... I use it every day and has done it for the last like four years. And I can't buy a new one because it was a limited edition brush from Real Techniques. And I love that brush to death. And I need to find something else because I think it will fall apart soon and then I have nothing. So I bought this one. I haven't tried it yet. I think it looks too big, but I will try it and I hope I will love it because this is not limited edition. So the, if this works, I can buy a new one and this fall apart in a couple of years. The two new face brushes I bought is from Real Techniques and it's from their... What's it called? Diamond Crush, this series with the diamond... with its glittery handles? I think so. So it's a powder brush and a chic brush. I don't know if they don't have an, a 302 and 300. And I don't like this flat powder brushes I have noticed now. After I've tried them for a couple of times. I don't really like this flat. No, I don't. I want them round and big. Um, it's a good brush, but I don't reach for this one because it's not my favorite type of brush. I want it to be more like this and not like flat. But it's a good brush and if you like flat brushes, you can buy it, but it's not my favorite. The other one, this one, this little motherfucker, this I use for my blush and this is amazing for blush. But if you have a very pigmented blush, be careful because this picks up a lot and when I used it first time with one of my really pigmented blushes I had to do my makeup all over again because it was too much so be careful with this but it's a really good brush and it's a perfect size for blush I think and it's really nice so if you want a good blush brush that pick up a lot of products buy this one and the free eye brushes I have bought. I have talked uh, one of them in my favorite videos as well and this is BH Cosmetics V5. It's the vegan brush and this is amazing. I have bought more of this but it's not come to me yet but this is my favorite blending brush of all time. I love this brush. That's all I have to say and it's cheap as fudge. And the last two brushes is from Wet n Wild and I don't know what the collection is called and I don't know what the I what these brushes are called but it's the pink and white brushes and they work okay <laughs> they were also cheap as fudge and it's two good cheap brushes nothing wrong with them I just think that this is maybe it's a little bit big and flat and this is almost the same size but this is fluffy so they are good brushes, they're not amazing, but they are good. Uh, soon we just have palettes left, so we can we have two more things and then we jump into my new palettes. So I have bought a new primer spray. I thought I also talked about this in my favorite video. And this is also from Kix. This is a spray, a primer spray. I think it works really good. The only thing, I want to do my base first if I have this on, because if I have my eye makeup on, eye makeup on and spray this it feels it's going to ruin my eye makeup but it's a really good primer and it works really fast so I like this one and it was not so expensive so it's a good product I can it's a tip for me if you can get a hold of it and the last thing I bought new deep brow pomade from Anastasia this was my first pomade I ever tried I have tried a lot after that I haven't loved any of them like I love this and uh, so I bought a new one I have used up one of these and I bought it in the color blonde and I will start to use this when my Kat Von D 
rinse out um, my eyebrow shadow. So now we just have the palettes left and here I did some damage. Damage. Yes, um, we can start with UVS Place. I have bought three new palettes. I made a video, I think it was called 10 things I want to buy from Beauty Bay or something like that or just things I want to buy from Beauty Bay, I don't remember. I can leave it up in the card. Uh, but I talked about these three palettes and as you see I bought them. So it's the Nina Masquerade and I have tried this today for the first time and it will come up a video of when I did this makeup and it looks like this. This is amazing palette. And uh, we should start with this. And then I bought the Sahara palette. I don't know if this was the first eyeshadow palette they released. And it's a small one with 12 colors and it looks like this. I haven't tried this yet. I have swatched some of the shadows but it will come a video when I try this. And I also bought the Saharan 2. And this I have tried. It looks like this. This seems maybe a little bit boring but it's a wonderful palette. I had the makeup for... One of my Will I Buy It, I think it was. I can put the video up in the corner. But this is a really good palette. I really like this one. And then I have also bought three from Blush Tribe. And Blush Tribe is now officially one of my new favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows. I have made a video of all of these three palettes. And now I don't think I have any more card space up there, but maybe I will leave some links. I can leave links down below. And first out we have the Blossom palette. This is a super nice rainbow palette. This was the first one I tried, or was it the Hacina? I don't remember. It looks like this. This is a wonderful palette. It's, it's so good. The colors are so nice and I love the packaging, it's awesome. And then the Hasina 2 palette. I have bought the Hasina 1 palette as well, but it will not come until December, I think. Uh, so the Hasina 2 palette. And this is not a palette that's my typical palette, but I really, really like this one. The colors are so good. And it's a really nice palette, even though it's not my favorite colors. I really... I'm so glad that I bought this one. And I have tried... I haven't tried all the purple colors, because purple is not my thing. But this is a wonderful palette. Buy it if you are just thinking about it. Buy it, because it's so good. And I just love it. And the last palette, also from Blush Tribe, is the Fall Fusion palette. I don't know if this is out of stock yet, but I think so, unfortunately. This is a pretty huge palette with 12 shades, and I really like this palette. I didn't want to buy it at first, but then I saw the swatches, and I have tried other palettes from Blush Tribe. So this is a really nice palette and I am so sorry if you didn't get your hands off this one because it's so nice. I really like the different colors. I like that it's both warm and cold and I like <laughs> the red and the orange and the yellow as you may know about me. So that's what all for this collective haul and it was a lot. I know. But I really hope you like this, and if you want me to continue doing these videos, maybe not once a month, but when I have quite a lot of stuff to show, I can make a collective haul. And I think it's fun to do hauls, and I like to look at hauls as well. So I really hope you like this video, and if you do, please press like. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!